Hello, it is Tuesday, October 10th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Tuesday crossword today, which means we should have another relatively gentle um, early week crossword with a theme. So this early week themed edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Kathleen Quinn, Quotidia File, Overfull Hitbox, and of course, as always, the Indomitable Shoalmaster and the Incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. They are, of course, sustaining this channel and bringing us this series. I'm very grateful for their support, as I am to all of the patrons for their support. Thanks if that includes you. And if you'd like it to, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve. There's a link in the description field and there you can find the bonus videos available to patrons as well as the Let's Check the Crosses official mug. And there is a new Boss Words uh, Fall Themeless League competition puzzle out. So I will have to solve that, hopefully improving on my absolutely dismal performance last week. So we'll see. Um, do subscribe to the channel on YouTube. That's a big help. And there's a Daily Solve Discord chat server you can join in the description field as well. So check that out. All right, let's get on to the crossword. This is the second puzzle by Nate Carden. It's, of course, a Tuesday-themed grid, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving, see how we do with this one. Cheeky talk. Probably sass. If you sass somebody, you're being a bit cheeky with them. But let's look at the, um, let's look at the uh, crosses. Layered haircut. It's probably obvious. My first thought would have been fade, but that... I like sass, so let's see if I can make this work. Kind of insurance. Uh, I'm sure this will be obvious as well when I see it. Tedious trudge, a slog. Okay, there's something that finally <laughs> backs up my sass, which needed reinforcement. Apia's, uh, Apia's country is Samoa. So that's at least something else. Well, oh, no, 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 never mind. I was going to say that would have been plural, but no, that's completely ridiculous. That isn't what that is. Uh, it does confirm the sass, or at least supports it. Luau performance, a hula dance, a, a luau performance, perhaps in Hawaii. Oh, is it a shag, a shag haircut? Right, okay, I see what, I can picture that now in terms of being sort of layered. Um, all right, good one. So the H or O in H T H two O, those would be atoms, so uh, two hydrogen atoms and a uh, um, oxygen. Um, or no, it's the other way around, sorry. Uh, anyway, kind of insurance is auto insurance. There we go. And gyrating performers at a nightclub are go-go dancers. And that is uh, asterisks, it's starred. So there will be, this will have some relation to the theme, of course. We'll get there soon enough. Uh, nickname for NBA great Irving. Oh, uh, if you'd asked me this cold and I didn't have access to the D, there's no chance I would have, I would have had it, it would have come to mind, but I do think it's Dr. J. Uh, is it Julius Irving, maybe? Astonished if I'm right about that, but I may well not be. Let's see if this fits. Museum pieces are art. Uh, 2019 Taika Watiti film about a boy with an animal nickname. That's the film Jojo Rabbit. I actually never saw this. I really like Taika Watiti, but I... I didn't ever saw that film. Measure of explosive force that sounds like a weight, a megaton, right? So you could refer to uh, the number of megatons in a nuclear explosion, um, but it also sort of sounds like a weight. It sounds like a, you know, I don't know, a thousand tons or something like that. Plow pulling animals uh, are oxen, of course. There we go. Blueprint detail could be a spec, a specification. A joint hit, so if you take a hit of a joint, you know, a marijuana joint, you could take a toke. You could uh, toke, you know, on it. So I don't think you'd say it that way. Anyway, your book superlative is most. So I think this is probably referring to the most likely to succeed, that kind of stereotypical thing in a high school yearbook, most likely to be elected president, that kind of thing. Trade show could be an expo, an exposition. A stereotypical techie or trekkie would be a geek, I suppose. Genetic messenger RNA, messenger RNA, and uh, an appropriate uh, clue in the week of the Nobel Prize. All right, ready for dental work, say. If you're ready for dental work, you're... No, maybe it's a verb, to ready for dental work, to... I, for some reason, I'm not saying that, sorry. 
Foreign films translated and captioned by enthusiasts. Fan, fan subs, fan subtitling. That would make sense. Um, is there a call for that very frequently? Maybe more often in the past, but these days I feel that's very, it's very commonly done by default. Uh, sick of with with. If you're sick of something with with your, I don't know. For some reason, I'm not seeing that. Uh, chicken adobo is a Filipino dish. There we go. That I certainly do know. Uh, many Michelangelo's could be nude sculpture, for instance. And school email address. Ender would be edu.edu, .edu, a school's email address, or emails, a school's domain, and web domain. Extinct creatures of Mauritius would be the dodo birds, famously. There we go. So we have a we have dodo birds, jojo rabbits. So we have sort of rhyming words with O's, or kind of reduplicative words with O's. So jojo, dodo, that, oh, go, yes, go-go dancers. Did I say birds? I don't know why I said that, but with other things. So we have birds, rabbit, dancers. Do I think anything connects those? Something might, but I'm not sure yet. Go-go, dodo, jojo. That, that does seem like the pattern. A Lyft competitor would be Uber, so a ride-hailing app. Sick of, oh, you're fed up with something, of course. And the with, the with, with just means we're going to be applying this word, with to both the clue and the answer. So, uh, oh no, it doesn't. Sorry, sorry. That would be a parenthesis. The with means we only apply it to the answer. Apologies. So if you're sick of something, you're fed up with it. Okay. Something a model strikes. So a, a model could strike a, a pose for photography, for instance, or a painting, I suppose. A uh, valuable rock deposit would be ore. You could mine ore, of course. Ah, uh, this was a verb. Too ready for dental work could be to maybe numb the mouth or your gums or something. Degree held by many CEOs would be MBAs, Masters in Business Administration. And Funny Silverman, so there's the comedian Sarah Silverman. There we go. To zap someone with a stun gun would be to tase them. I so often make the opposite mistake. Um, so I was kind of overthinking it there. Anyway, California school that's home to the Aztecs would be uh, San Diego State University. Uh, there we go. I know some people who went there. Uh, shade of color. A hue. And um, to observe would be to see something straightforwardly enough. Blank pal, female friend, a gal pal, maybe a rhyming phrase. And a 3.01 is a B, would be a GPA grade point average. Oh, something popped up on the screen there. Couldn't tell what that was. Any member of NATO to another would be an ally. So it's the, the nature of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization is that the members are allies. Film's storyline would be its plot. Olympian who completed, who competed, I'm sorry, as both a hurdler, 2008 and 2012, and a bobsledder, 2014. That's very interesting, but I, I doubt I know the answer. I, I don't, I don't even know where to start with that. Uh, God in Islam would be Allah. Oh, is it going to be Lolo? Maybe. Just be, I'm going, oh, be, yes. Yeah, sorry, I didn't, I didn't even realize it was a. Um, a starred clue. So yes, I think we can be very safe in assuming the beginning will be Lolo. Unfortunately, I don't think I recognize the name, so I'm not I'm not getting any further help than that. Oh, and this will be Yo-Yo. Yes, it is. <laughs> Walk the dog and around the world, e.g. are Yo-Yo tricks. There we go. There was about a one-year period, I remember, when I was growing up, where suddenly, seemingly out of nowhere, I don't know if there was some sort of cultural spur for this, but... Um, the yo-yo became unbelievably popular overnight. I mean, I remember I got a yo-yo. I'd never been interested in yo-yos before. I think by about a year later, it had just completely, it had largely faded away. Anyway, that was it's so funny how quickly that can happen and then dissipate. Actor Diggs, Ty Diggs is an actor, so there we go. Stinging wasps are hornets. Blank chicken, spicy Jamaican fare is jerk chicken. There we go. I live within easy walking distance to several great jerk chicken uh, joints, one of which is a combination jerk chicken takeaway and car wash, which is uh, very good. And the name of the restaurant, the name of the window 
is uh, so nice jerk spot. And it's great. It's extremely good. Uh, Olympian who competed. All right. Okay. I don't know that. Certain boxing win for short. Uh, TKO, uh, technical knockout. Hit 1925 musical that inspired the sequel, Yes, Yes, Yvette. Um, let's see. I don't, do I know that? Oh, will be no, no something. I don't recognize it though. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to it. To boo loudly would be to jeer, to sort of heckle. An upscale, upscale hotel chain could be Omni. That's a hotel chain. Campus military organization is ROTC, which is, I think, Reserve Officer Training Corps. Something, something to that effect. And let's, we filled this in. So captain in multiple Jules Verne novels, Captain Nemo, really interesting character who got, who got sort of retconned into a kind of interestingly anti-colonialist character in the second Jules Verne uh, appearance, the uh, mysterious island. Uh, Tolkien tree creatures are Ents. Vale or Aspen is a ski town, I suppose. And something sorta could be ish, a bit ish, sorta. Nine digit ID, um, this is US specific, is a social security number, SSN. And what is this? No, no, it something. I don't, I don't know. Sorry. Corkscrew shape is a helix. That's the shape of a, you know, characteristic shape of a corkscrew. Handheld Tex-Mex food, a taco, I suppose. Um, Blank and the Real Girl, 20, 2007 Ryan Gosling film. I didn't see this, but I do remember it existing. Lars and the Real Girl, which is about a man who has a relationship with a sort of huge doll, I think. I sort of remember the movie posters existing. Fierce short -ar short-armed dino. Uh, T-Rex, famously, Tyrannosaurus Rex with their comically disproportionately small arms. Summer coolers are ices. Oh, <laughs> here, this is good. Affectionate sign-off or a pattern hinting at the starts of the answers to the six starred clues. That's very good. That's very clever. So XOXO, which is uh, you know, kisses and hugs represented uh, sort of symbolically. But we have the X serving as a sort of variable letter. So the X is the, you know, insert a letter here, alternating with the O's. And of course, that is a, a format we are followed, that we follow in the opening to each of our theme answers. That's very good. Oh, no, no, Nanette or something like that. Maybe this isn't Skeeta. This, the, no, no, Nanette. Is that what it is? I, I actually do weirdly recognize this, even though I've never seen this musical. Let's see. Put a tiger in your tank gas brand that's SO, you know, derived from the initialism SO for standard oil. And then let's see if I can make no, no, Nanette fit. Vale or Aspen? Ski area. There we go. Right. Either one of those is a ski area. And they might be cut down after basketball victories. Oh, nets, I suppose, as a souvenir. Presidential office shape would be the Oval, oval Office, famously. Lymph, uh, lymph node is a, is a part of our uh, anatomy. And then finished on a walkie-talkie, walkie -talkie, you say over to conclude the, you know, the conversation. It's a date, you might say, to make plans to meet up with somebody. And frozen character who says, you can't marry a man you just met is Elsa. There we go. All right. So smallest prime number. What counts as the smallest prime number? One or two? I suppose two, because it needs to be divisible by one and itself. And I, I always forget uh, sort of what the rule, how, how the rule technically works in this particular case, but I suspect it's two. Olympian who competed as, oh, right, it's this. Lolo, I don't know. Oh, it does look better than E would, I think. Let's try it and see. Quick haircut, a trim. Yes, there we go. Rhyming partner of dine, wine, you could wine and dine somebody. Another rhyme appropriate to the theme. Washing machine cycle is the rinse cycle. If you're lacking skill at something, you're inept. And flat-topped hills are mesas. There we go. Didn't mean to, I didn't, I didn't realize the grid was just about wrapped up or I would have checked the crosses first. So here we have a pampering place, the spa, a place you could get 
pampered. And then I think we did see everything. Oh, no. Oh, no, we saw that. Yeah, okay. I think we've seen all of the clues. So there we have it. It was, I think, another fairly gentle um, fairly gentle crossword and a gentle theme as well, for that matter. Uh, as is so often the case, especially in the early week, we can solve the whole crossword without paying any attention to the theme. We really, it really only comes into play here at the, in the revealer at the very, very end with the affectionate sign-off appropriately placed at the very end of the grid. Um, and um, even then, we could solve it simply with the given clue bit without worrying about the theme. But we did worry about the theme, and it is the pattern hitting at the, hinting at the starts of the answers to the six starred clues, which are Go-Go Dancers, Dodo Birds, Jojo Rabbit, Lolo Jones, there we go, Lolo Jones, Yo-Yo Tricks, and No No Nanette. There we go. Uh, that must have been a fun, <laughs> fun theme to compile. And there we go. But other than that, I think it was relatively approachable. Let me know if you found that to be the case in the comments below or the Discord. And there we have it. That is that for today's video. I will be back tomorrow for the Wednesday crossword, where we maybe take a little bit of a step up in difficulty for a midweek mid-difficulty crossword. Do join me for that and find out. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. Uh -huh.